How do you get people to do good for others? We all know this. Intellectually, we know that it's good to do good for others, but why don't we do it then? Why don't we do it? And what the Marines learn is something that I completely did not expect. They can't just yell at these guys to help each other. That's not what happens. There's a few things that they have to do first. So we all have heard of the obstacle course, right? The Marines have a thing called the obstacle course. And this is where they, they build anaerobic strength and aerobic strength, muscle strength, and it's timed and all of this good stuff. They have another course called the confidence course, and it's never timed. And most of the obstacles on this course cannot be completed by yourself. They must be completed in teams. You have no choice. That's just how it's designed. And what they say is the first two weeks of boot camp, everybody's there to outdo each other and prove that they're strong. Just kind of like when we start in a job, we prove we want to show how great we are. We'll work a little harder. We'll do good work. Look how good my design is, right? It's all about us and how good we are, right? But they keep putting them in situations where they can't do things by themselves. And what starts to happen very slowly, they said after about two weeks, they start cheering for each other. Now they get in trouble when they do, but they start cheering for each other. And then before too long, you see them organically start helping each other. <clears throat> and what happens is if there's one person who's weak and refuses to help each other, the others, or even if there's one person who's strong, who's, you know, I was the star college athlete and they get to every, the end of every obstacle and they just stand there and wait for everybody to finish and they don't help each other, what starts to happen is organically the group starts to ostracize that person. Organically, they get ostracized until they learn that the only way that they will get through this thing, the only way they will survive boot camp is if they ask for help because they have no option. The problem is no one will help them until they're willing to help another. It's the deal we have to make. It's called vulnerability and risk. We have to take the risk to make ourselves vulnerable. Yes, you might do something for someone else and they may not do something back for you. That's the risk you run. That's the risk you run. It's not about, it's not about <clears throat> giving everything to them and, and sort of huge, big, overwhelming risk. It's about little things and little things. It's like going on a date, right? It's like if I went on a date with somebody, and I came home and I said, uh, after one date, I said, I'm marrying her. And people are like, what are you, nuts? I'd be like, I'm in love. They're like, but you're, you're, this, is, this is crazy. I'm like, I know, I'm in love, you know? <laughs> She feels the same way. We both know it's nuts, right? Now you know that you're going to be like, eh, go on a couple more dates, right? <laughs> we know instinctively that the strong bond that's create, that, that needs to be created first takes more than a week, right? We know that, right? But if I've been dating somebody for seven years and we haven't you know, married, you'd be like, dude, what is wrong, right? In other words, we know that it takes more than seven days and we know that it takes less than seven years. The problem is, we don't know how long it takes. It's somewhere in the middle. All human bonds are the same. Like when you show up at work, when you show up for the first time, when you're new, don't expect that people will look out for you and they won't expect you to look out for them in seven days. It won't happen. But if you've been working at a job for a few years and you don't have the, un the, the, sort of the, the absolute confidence that if you turn your back, you will not get stabbed, you can rely on somebody, you can give them something, nothing will go wrong, you will share the credit, no one will throw you under the bus. If you don't have that in a few years, something's wrong.